Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. In this video, we will continue in the coin surveying work, but we'll start now for the MAB coin surveying. Actually, for any construction project, you have to consider the subcontract items in your uh, calculation. We we'll just we we'll just give here in CMS like an indications for coin surveying of uh, all the subcontracts activity to give you as a construction company or as a main contractor a figure how will be the cost for each subcontract activity only for a figure to just for yourself to to can identify and or uh, evaluate the prices or the quotations which you receive from your subcontractors so we'll start now with the MAB let's click in the MAB we'll find here MAB divided for electrical work sanitary work, fire system work, HVAC systems, and infrastructure. So let's start now and, and find how we calculate the quant surveying and later the cost estimation for the MEB works. Let's start with the electrical work. When you click the electrical work, CMS will guide you for the page of the MEB, the divisions which we talk about now. We'll start with electrical work as it mentioned here before starting through the tables let's see how the drawing look like for the MAB work if you have a drawings for the electrical work you will find the drawings like this for electrical work this is starting with the lights showing the locations of the light for all the building or all the floors it will be repeated according to the number of the floors like this he's showing the light so that's the light drawings you will have also the power drawings which have the location of the sockets for each floor and the ac drawings which have the locations for the ac and the routes of all the ac and the ac ducts later and others power related to the bombs and other electrical items meanwhile you will have the load schedules showing all the consists of the DBs or the distribution board like MCB and the ECP and the wires and the cables and whatever all the components of the DBs which will you will find it inside the load schedule drawings so let's see now how to treat with the drawings and the schedule of MAB by CMS when you open here the CMS in the MAB and the electric, you will find he is asking you for the points. First for the first category, as we informed before, we, we divide the category, we divide the buildings for some floors, till mezzanine or podiums floor, and another for the typical floors. The same we did before in the, all the structure work. He is asking here for the descriptions this description is almost 99 percent of the electrical work it must be there description here for the lights fans and the power sockets heater ac and pumps you will insert here the quantity of the lights from where you will get these quantities of the light you have two options either to use the schedule and calculate the numbers and account the numbers of the lights as mentioned in the schedules this schedule you find this schedule for each db so you will calculate the numbers of the schedule for each db and you can according to the number and the location of the db you will you will insert the numbers of the lights according to the load schedule the other way is to account the numbers of the lights from the drawing from here like this you just count the number of the lights according to each type you have the type for each one accordingly you will insert the lights according to each type here he is giving you here a distance this distance is from the light to the db why is why you are entering this distance this distance required to calculate the length of the cables and the wires and the pipes when you enter for him this distance from the, the light to the db of course you will insert the average length of the lights if you have the drawing like this you have the db 
here you will just calculate if you are considering this location for example we we'll consider this location so we have here the db and you have the number of the lights here so you insert the number of the lights and now we need a average lens from the light in the center suppose light of the center to the db you will have this full lens the horizontal lens and the vertical lens so when you give him this lens he will he will start to calculate for each light the length of the wires and the pipes which is connecting the light with the db so you will insert all the numbers of the lights if you are talking about this floor and if this floor is repeated for three or four floors or five or whatever you after you insert the, the number of the lights which is here you will put the number of the floor in this location if the floors again as we did in the structure if the floors are not typical you will insert here only number one and you will calculate the numbers for all the floors you will calculate the number of the lights and you will count the number of the lights for all the floors and you will insert it here that's the way you will do the same for any type of the light and additional lights what the mean of light and additional light normally for the lights it will be a main light which is receive the power from the db and this light is giving the power for all other lights one light will take the power from the db and the switch and this light will distribute the power to the others light around how we will know this one from the loops of the lights like this loops which showing the loops between the lights the power from where the power is coming from one location and giving the power for this light so that's the main light then this light giving for another two or three lights so that's the light which have the direct power and the other three or four lights which have the power from the main light so we have one main light and the others are additional that's the meaning of the light and additional lights so you will insert the same according to the types for each floor or for one floor and multiply in the repetition according to the repetition for the material for the floors till mezzanine or volume floors the same you will do for a bell for a fan for chandeliers whatever you will have on the ceiling you will add it like this so you will put the lens between the main light and the db then the lens between each additional light and the other like what we saw now so that's the main line the main lens then the lens between each lights and others and this can be as an average lens not required to calculate it one by one give it an average lens and put more version for this and the same you will do for the power when you see the drawings of the of the sockets we'll find for each room we have one or two or three sockets one of them will be the main and the others will be the additional so we will put your insert also the same if you have a 13 ampere socket you will add the quantities of the main sockets and the quantities of the additional you will add also the lens between the socket and the db and the lens between each socket and the others this is will be the average as we informed the same we will have for also the 15 ampere socket and you will insert the number of the heaters number of ac which is mentioned also in the power drawings either this ac units are split or adducted or uh, chillers or whatever you will enter only the number of the power for each unit the same also for the number of the pumps and the dimension and the distance between this power provision for each ac or pumps to the db so here only you will insert for each floor and this must be covered the full floor because you multiply in the numbers of the floor or it will be multiplied in one and you will insert all the floors which are not in similarity the same you will do also in the typical floors you will add here the numbers of the typical floors in our case we have a 15 then you will insert the lights for each type of the lights as we did in the previous floors the lens between the db and the main light and the lens between lights to lights and we'll do the same for the fans for the sockets for the ac for the pumps so you will only only this you will insert for the lights and power same is considering here the wires diameter which are required for these connections 
So same is considering here three milli and two milli as as an earth wire for the lights. For socket, he consider six milli and three for earth. For heaters, he consider also four. So this you can change if you need. If you need to change, you can change according to the design. This also can be confirmed from where, from the load schedule. It's mentioned here for the light, the type of the wire, the main wire and the earth wire. It is mentioned in the schedule, so you can use both drawing and schedule in your calculation. What CMS will give you? CMS will give you all the material quantities required for the lights and power. CMS will calculate for you all the required wires, the full length for the wires for each diameter, the pipes or the flexible pipes which you require. We already insert for him the length of the uh, between the lights and DB and the lights and the other lights. So it will give you also the cabler which is required to connect the wires together, the PVC box and the GI box and the socket quantities which are required for this types of the floors. So you will have all the outputs directly for all the material required for these floors. And of course, when you insert for him the price, as we'll see later, he will give you the full cost of these materials. The same will happen here in the typical floors. This is what is related to the lights and power. Balance now the DBs itself and the cables type how to deal with the dbs and the cables in this case we have to use the schedule directly as we see we have for each db we have a table schedule we have a load schedule for each db all each one each each of these tables are related to the db so we'll consider one db as an example and we'll find what are the components of this table Meanwhile, the components of this DB. And as we said, this is will be only as an indication for the MB cost surveying and the cost estimation. Meanwhile, you will arrange for a quotation from a specialist as a main contractor or a consultant or a client. And as we said, this will give you an approximate figure for the MB quantities and cost estimation. So for example, for this DB, we have here the components of the DB the MCCB and the ELCB that's the main components so we will just account how many MCCB and how many ELCB and you will find here in the in the CMS here we will insert the number of them the same distribution board which have the same component and the components of the distribution board which are the MCCB and the ELCB so we have to we have to insert now all the numbers of the MCB inside the DB and the numbers of the ELCB inside the DB. We'll find here the MCB have variety from 10 ampere till 450 ampere, and we'll find also for the ELCB the types of the ELCB. What we have to do we have to insert the numbers of all these from where with this one MCB and ELCB from the table or from the load schedule the load schedule for any db for example this db will have the lcb so we'll take the number of the lcb one two three four and we have two types we have the type of the 40 100 we have 40 100 we have 40 30 that's the other type 40 30 40, 100, 40, 100. So we have one, two, three, four. The same are 40, 100 and two, 40, 30. This will insert in the schedule here. We have 40, 30, two and 40, 100, four. And what about the MCB? We'll find also in the schedule here. And that's the amperes number. So we will count only how many for 10 ampere, how many for 16 ampere, how many for 20, how many for 32, and the others, and 40, and whatever. After we count this one, we'll insert it also here. 
say we have 10 for 20, 5 for 16, 1 for 40, 3 for 42, whatever. So whatever we have in the for each db, we will insert it here. So these two tables for one db. We'll enter here the type of the db with the location of the db for our reference, as we see now. Then in the next step to make a cost estimation, we'll insert the price for each MCB and ELCB. And we'll put the price for the fabrication. This to give you the figure for the cost of 1 dB. According to the numbers of the dBs which you will insert, if this dB will have a repetition, so maybe maybe this dB is repeated 20 times on the, in the building, another dB will repeat it 50 times in the building, whatever. According to the how many apartments, how many rooms, how many shops, whatever. So the load schedule must be checked properly along with, along with the drawings. We will insert for each type of dB in this tables in CMS. Balance now is the is the cable lens, the cable diameter or cable types and lens. We have single core cables and we have four core cables. From where we put these numbers of the cables or the diameter and the types of the cable, also from the load schedule. Here we have the cable size which is connecting this DB with another main DB. We have here for four cores 35 milli and for one core 16 milli. So we have for the same lens 35 milli and 16 milli. This is coming from where? From the source of this dB. Each dB must have a source as it is mentioned here from this dB number S and it is coming from the sub main dB. So on the drawing you have to calculate the length of the cable from the sub main dB till this dB. You have to calculate it horizontally and vertically and give also a good margin or a good buffer for the cable as a contingency. You will do the same for each dB. You will have in the load schedule all the dB types and all the sub main dBs. You will do also the same. The same what, what we did in the, the first dB. You will repeat it for all dBs and you will insert it in the CMS according to the project design with the same way as we did. So we'll insert here the length of the cables, each dB separately. At the end, you'll find that you inserted all the lengths of the cables which are required for the building. Now we already finished all the, all the required materials for the electrical work. Balance now the labor costs. Labor costs are always by the electrical subcontractor, they're calculating their points. And they have common price or average price for each point, how much it will be calculated as a labor cost. You will put this price here. For your information, the labor cost for the lights shall not be the same for the sockets or for the AC or for the pumps or, or for DB or whatever. Each one have different rates. But for easy calculation, even the subcontractors, they are, con they are considering the light as a one point and considering the sockets as one and a half point or two point and the heater like four points, the AC like six points, like this. They have a, they have a rate for everyone. CMS was feeds with these calculations and these ratios, and it is ready in the CMS. What you have to do, you have to only put the price for the one point only. How much for one point in the market as a labor charge? Just add it like this. Also for the cable, for, for one meter of cable, you will insert also the cost for one meter as a liberal charge. At the end you will have the full liberal charge for the building. Same as will give you the price of the material and labor cost. So that's the cost of the electrical work calculated by CMS. So that's the first way to insert the cost of the electrical work. Otherwise you will insert the cost directly here from the subcontractor. You will hear as CMS telling you or add direct by subcontractor. Whatever you receive the price for the subcontractor, you can add it here directly. For telephone and TV and uh, satellite and whatever, you will also do the same. You will check the drawing and you'll find the sockets of the TV and satellite, how many numbers. You will just insert the number of the telephone and the satellite sockets according to the drawing. 
for the full building we'll insert only here if you have data socket you'll insert here whatever you have any type located in the building as a, as a TV sockets or a satellite socket you will insert the description and the numbers and the rates or also to provide the price directly from the subcontractor and put it here okay what about the drainage and water supply CMS also give you an indication for the prices or for the cost according to the market and according to the method of the calculation as the subcontractors commonly using so you can also have a figure for all the drainage system and, so, and the water supply for the construction building but CMS provides you all the required material for each bathroom all the required materials for the wash for the WC and for each item related to the water supply and the drainage work what you will do only you will insert the numbers of the bathroom according to their type if you have wash area if you have kitchen numbers of the heaters number of the tanks and number of the pumps then you will put also a purchasing price for these items according to the market for this let's talk about these tables to inform me here about the water supply to give you a two choice of the water supply pipes and the prices for this pipes and all its accessories like like elbows and the female elbows T and the female T and the sockets and the bend and the valve that's most of the uh, accessories using in the water supply you have a two choice here that's the common prices for them either BBR pipes or GI pipes you will insert here the both uh, the both prices according to your location then you will choose which type you will need either the BBR or the galvanized that's only for your reference and for your comparing to decide which type you can use you would like to use here same is giving you the numbers of the accessories and the pipes required for each bathroom if you need to change the numbers you can change according to the size of your bathroom but but that's the common quantities the same for the drainage here also the common quantities for each bathroom that's the price for the same pipes and the accessories for the drainage if you have uh, extra drainage for uh, the typical floors it's also can you it can be added here if you have if you need to change the numbers for the for the, the typical bathrooms because uh, when you are going for high riser you have to add more materials and whatever you have extra materials you can add it here this all will be calculated for one bathroom when you insert the numbers of bathrooms or kitchen or wash it will be calculated directly all the material required for this project and you will insert also the price for the items for bathroom and wash and kitchen and the heaters and, and pumps and tanks and the labor charge for each bathroom at the end you will have the full cost estimation for the project divided by material and bath sets and heaters and the cost of the labor at the end you will have the full price or full cost of the, of the sanitary and water supply work so mainly when you, you can use CMS directly to by inserting the price for the uh, each material and numbers of the kitchen and bathrooms and other water facilities at the end you will have this price directly or you can add here directly the price from the contract CMS also gives a facility to make an, to find an indication for the fire system that most of the materials used in the fire fighting and fire alarm you can add here the quantities and the price then installation and commissioning for this for the fire system you can add it as a percentage of the materials that's also the common practice in the market at the end you will have the full price for the fire system fire alarm and firefighters or you can add direct the price from the subcontract same also for the AC the air condition or the HVAC that's the common types of the AC using in the construction and insert here the capacity for each type and the price per ton for each type and the quantities from the drone according to the drone we can count all the numbers of the AC with each ton so we have 
have here two ton and one and a half ton and two and a half ton so you will count each capacity separately and put the numbers if you are talking about the spirit unit you will put the numbers here directly here we have an air condition calculator that's uh, to know approximate how many how much capacity you need for each space if you need to use it you can use it only for your information or your references or you will bring the price from a subcontractor and you will add it here directly and CMS will consider it in the cost estimation that's contribution of CMS in MAP work it is only to give you an indication for the prices or indication for the material which can be used in MAP work inside your project for your reference but better also to provide a prices because actually when you are provided when you are arranging for a prices you can find big gaps between all the subcontractors when you spread the tender for MAP work as a contractor or a developer or a consultant when you spread a tender for MAP work to MAP contractors you will receive quotations and actually you will surprise with the big gap between each other so the, when you are doing this estimation and they get approximate figure by CMS you can identify evaluate and judge what is the proper price you, you received already from your subcontractors that's for the MAB and for the full QS now already finished the full QS work as we mentioned before in the last video you will CMS are providing you the full material takeoff and full bill of quantity as we saw in the latest video we will start the cost estimation and how CMS will give you directly with the very with the very very less effort a full cost estimation and the budget for the projects actually conserving have the most efforts in CMS after this cost estimation and the scheduling and the feasibility study will be as a direct output from the coin surveying as we will see in next videos we are talking about the infrastructure work how CMS will deal with the infrastructure when we click on infrastructure CMS will guide us for a full POQ of infrastructure work which is starting with soil investigation demolishing for the existing road construction drainage sewage water supply irrigation electricity road lights telecom and spare at the end we'll find the summary we have a note here that all the rates which will be inserted here in this POQ it will be the final price that means you have to insert here the price which you will sell your project with not only the cost because this POQ is the final POQ which will be presented for the clients so we'll follow now the steps we'll go for step one which is click to run step two to insert the necessary in the table and step three is click to render let's start with click to run it's done and go for step two step two here we have to insert the necessary in the table what the necessary to be inserted in the table as you see here sim is giving us full description for our requirement you can keep it the same or change according to your project specification and requirement you can change of course the rate according to the market rate and insert here the quantities accordingly same is will calculate the total amount for each division the same will be in the other division demolishing you can insert according whatever you need you can add rows and then insert whatever you need it will be calculated the roads here is the, all the description for the road excavation filling pipes works and holes ducts protections roads and paving curb and channel light duty pavement and all the requirements for the road so same as give us the common description for the infrastructure work you can keep it or change it or modify according to your requirement change the the rate and the quantities as your requirements to add any rows of course you have to view the 
heading and insert any kind of rows as you like normal work in Excel the same for drainage same for sewerage all the requirements for the sewerage you can modify and add according to your requirement the same for the water supply and the irrigation electricity the road lighting the requirement for road lighting the telecom and the spare parts which you can be which you can provide for your project according to your project specification okay at the end you will have here a summary has the prices for all divisions and the total price remember this will be the final price to be presented for your client so you have to add here the price including your overhead the ra so the rates which you will provide here it shall be including your overhead after you add what you required or modify what you require it is not need to remove or cut whatever it's not whatever not used you will just after you finish your addition only you will make step three for rendering and to start render at the end you will have a full POQ for whatever activities and items which are needed only whatever not needed any activities or items not required or not needed that means you didn't put any rate or quantities for them it will be removed automatically that's how sim is dealing with infrastructure he give you a full ready POQ you will just insert the quantities directly in it and when you are going when you are working in the cost estimation you will add your rates including your overhead and profits see you later in the next video thank you and goodbye